The sacred simulacre are all ready. Thank you both. The voltage ringgit has been returned to its priest, and the statues have come back to their rightful place. The ringgit rite is now ready to perform. But will Chunyu Veil really recover once you cast the ringgit in? That's right. Things will get better for us, little Mao. Nature, jade, humans, all in divinely dictated. The change in the land and water in Junior Vale, um, the malicious fog in the f fog in the spirit veins, they are all essential, early a sign of the earth moving against the flow of time. Huh? Yeah, so that miasma like thing is a manifestation of an environmental disorder. <laughs> That's right. You can think of it as a, like Junior's Veil vale attempt to um how do I put it? Return to nature? And what we intended to do here is to treat the land and soil and get rid of it, of its sickness. Retain, return to nature? After all, before human left the caves and mountains to dominate the world and regulate nature, and before Tunyu Vale or Bishui River got those names, the land and mountains, the rivers had their own order. <laughs> even if even I sometimes miss the cool mountain stream and the great rivers that would ebb the flow and with the season. I mean, I was once near fish that swarm. But if we let nature seize control of its order once more, the people in Junior Vale will suffer in languish. I hope you can understand. Yeah. In that case... Mm -hmm. Yo, there's more. I hate this. Hi. Huh? It didn't work? It seems that thing in the fog just now, nothing seems to change. It seems I'm too feeble in my current state. We got the range it and we placed it in a similar car, but it still it wasn't enough. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. I need more power to overcome this trial. Just as the adaptive energy in the voltage range it has dissipated into the spirit vein, so has my power have led me across the long years. Huh? Were you going to really big just like the jade? Uh, probably not. Huh, just think about it though. Super adaptive Fujin, now three times the size? Well, is there any way you can install your power? The golden cup. How are you are wise indeed. Before you found a few golden gobs, I could not even master strength to appear. Initially, I thought that we just needed to gather all the ritual implements and that would make up for the deficiency in my power. I'm not entirely open with you before, but neither the present nor past me was anywhere near the match of the Dapti of the South. I feared you would consider me weak and unworthy of your help. Gee, is that it? Paimon thought you have some sort, something more important to say. Huh? There's no way we abandon or make friends with you just because of that. That I, the young lady, consider you as a friend and not out conditionally on your status as an adaptus. Yeah. Other than the whole young lady bit, Paimon wanted to say the same thing. My friend told me lots of story about you. In my mind, even though we've met, we already fans. I want you to be happy, big sis. Alright, alright. Thank you all. Well, it's more like it. That's more like it. So, where should we start looking for this golden cup? I believe you have to go to the Yod Yaudi Yaudai Ville Valley. Yeah. Yep. There will be a cabin there with the golden cup hidden within it. Oh, we're here again. <laughs> this place. I broke. I went in before doing this. Well, wrong one. Go fish. And then, mum, 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 pop, pop, pop. Oh, no, 
Your boat? Well, you can consider her blood, and I mean, uh, okay, cool. Don't know what it says, but okay. Yeah, I'm here again. Yippee! This guy is no longer here. Wait, um, I need you, I think. Hmm. Um. Was I supposed to do that? Okay, Fujin. That was the longest camera pan, dude. What? We're here, big sis Fujin. Have you been waiting for us all this time? Oh uh, no, uh, after leading a cup rest, I can only appear in places in which my power remains and only by the grace of your adaptive energy, are we? Wait a minute, didn't the gap in the middle of the mural originally have something that went with the golden cup mural in it? I'm not sure, in truth, this is my first time seeing this mural as well. Huh? Why am I like so brightly colored? Is that the thing? Um, I'm sure you heard all the battle that took place in the past. The Archon War? Yes. This cave was one of the shelters we built for the inhabitants of Two New Vale, which that the innocent caught in a crossfire when the floods overturned the heavens and the earth split open could have a place of safety. I didn't expect that. They draw a mural here, though I believe the one depicted to me to be me. Mm, I mean a big simply carp little mal mentioned and a fan. Huh? If that's the case, why didn't the most important part get taken somewhere else? Uh that's true. Why is that? Perhaps this satisfaction this satisf this satisfaction the three of us were once great friends, with two of us becoming worshipped as an adepti. The one of us always wanted, always the mountain monster. Later, her blood and I defected together, and she most likely died too. Or perhaps the one among us who fought to the last never submitted and only heard the news of us afterwards. Perhaps to her, we were all traitors. With the depiction, depictions of myself and her blog becoming an object for her to vent her fury against. Huh? Is that really the case? The painting outside looks like... Who knows? In any case, that's all the past. So please, let me your strength in nursing Junior Vale back to health. I can feel that there's another golden cup lingering where I used to. Near Mount Xuanlian, I believe. Oh, there's another? If we get that one, I should have enough strength to perform the ritual. Speaking of that, I must apologize for being unable to control the golden cup even with you nearby. I knew they might have given you some trouble, swimming through the air like that. Ah, it's fine, I just think of them as sealies. But really, where is the golden cup that should be here? Hmm, well, inside the painting, this is just a depth of energy to awaken it, are we? What? According to what Fujin said. Oh. Hima o mo te ama shite iru no nara, wara wa no iye ni kite. Koko saikin no omoshiroi dekigoto o hanashite kure ni ka? 
Uh huh. There's the mountain right there. Yeah, let's see what clues clues we can find. Um, yeah, about that. No. Ah, there's a pavilion here on the mountains. A rather adaptive style. Huh. But I might wonder where we will find a golden cup. This cup is kind of a huge place. Hold up. Maybe we can do what that we did last time, you know? Are we the bit where you use adaptive energy on the mural? And the cup turned out to be hiding inside. Look, Aoi, the four stone cup statues right here. Do you think there might be a four giant cup inside it? Um, that does make sense. You're pretty smart, little mouth. Aoi, is the adapter energy reacting in a way? Nope. But there's something to be missing inside. Hmm, that might be where the critical clue lies. Ah, Aoi, look over there. It looks like there's not an orb inside some of the cup statues. We did it. Didn't we find some statue of the cups and large pearl in our way down the mountain? Maybe those are actually used for something. The real pearl of wisdom. Worth the try. Okay. Alright, let's go then. Oh, new gameplay? What? Uh huh. Reading. Ain't no way for that, bro. Anyway, what's that? Okay. Ah, so weighing machine or something, whatever. Boop. And boop. Did I? Did it work? Oh. Oh! Just... Cup Spirit Orb. Oh. Mm. oh, what do we do that? Okay. I... I still might need that guy. Okay, well... This one pour water. Floating platform. This one? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. This one? Oh, cool. Balance have been restored. Boop. And boop. Yay! Oh. Yay! <laughs> Let's see the map. <laughs> this is what no life means. Okay, okay. He lichos. Oh, let's do that. Especially the big guy. The big guy is annoying. Did okay, uh huh? Oh, uh, water flow. Cool. Also, there's a chest there. I didn't pick that up. Yep. Okay, we got three of them. Now what? Here's an op for you, for you, for you. I heard a chest. My apologies for the poor hospitality. It's been a long time since I last enjoyed a tea with others. Hopefully, with my building skill, have not deteriorated too much over the time. One, I mean, I have some experience in appreciating day. It was also thanks to this um, that was how I was able to tell that this year's tea offering smell off. That was how I discovered the trouble of the soil and water quality. Huh, 
didn't you think didn't think the offering right would still would be useful like some sort of meaningless tradition of <laughs> I suppose now I can tell those who failed to appreciate the value of tea about its value with confidence. Come on Aoi. Have some tea. Is this your tea pot Fujin? Not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Pink's Yeah, there was a that time in Liyue where we fixed Madame Pink's teapot for her. <laughs> if you think about it, we seem quite we seem to have quite connection with tea. Madame Pink? Ah, oh, I think I know who that who of you you speak. We were acquainted back in the day, along with her friends. As the Mao said, I was once just a giant cup, unable to leave fresh water for too long, nor live in salty waters. As such, they sent me to send me one of these teapots. That's how my friends would have been able to take me inside my teapot, of course, to Greeley Plains and Liwei Harbor to meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. Aoi, Paimon, you've been to Liwei Li Li Harbor. Could you tell me more about the city? I'd like to hear about it too. I've never been. Well, Paimon would like to start from Oemin Restaurant. How about I handle the explanation this time, Paimon? Sure. But don't you dare skip over any of the eating bits. It's a port city built nestled against the mountains. You begin only for Fujin to interrupt you. She knows that she likes to hear your Liwei story. You understand and begin again. When we arrived arrive in Liwei, Paimon and I was just in time for the rite of dissension. The child and the adapters before you listen to your words and Paimon incessant interjections, leaning forward as you speak exclaiming in shock and relaxing as the tension in the tales arise and falls. They also add their own commentary and question about Lei Wei, such as the food and the flavors available at the restaurant, the toys, the old lady cell, and the gems and jewelries in Fuyan Slope and such. As you watch Fujin, Little Mao, and Paimon be so moved by the tale, Along this journey, we met many friends and experienced so many things. It was all worth it. I can only hope that in the end, it will be all worth it. Whoa, a sea monster, huh? Amazing. Yiwe Harbor is not what I imagined. Did you find it disappointing? Well, no, it's different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I feel like the way harbor you describe. It's good to hear that after all this time, my dear Herblot was able to find a home there. I think that's simply wonderful. What about you, little Mao? Could you tell me about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. I mean, sure. Paimon and Aoi already have met her, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. So this is how we met. At the time, I was a little kid who didn't know anything about the mountains. It was night time and some wild beasts were following me through the forest. It was super scary since finally, I was chased to a clearing and surrounded by those beasties. For a moment, I was convinced I was going to get eaten. But suddenly, they all backed off into the woods and then they were gone. When I looked back, there she was looking at me. She's like Jade, but this was a dignity to her. I knew it then that she was a master of the mountains and that my grandparents had told me about. I wasn't scared. I just told her. I finally found you. I've been looking for you for so long. I don't know why, but she lowered her head in thought before walking off. She made no noises as she as she did, so I listened hard as I could, but there was no sound of any stepping or branches of fallen leaf. After that, I would sometimes catch sight of her moving between the trees in a flash. Sometimes the rising moonlight would outline her shadow as she stood atop a mountain. At that time, though, 
I thought it was strange. Why hadn't I seen her before? She was always there after all. I wanted to talk to her, but she would always turn and leave. I was it was only later that she became willing to talk to me. Much later on, she would take me up very high mountains and into very deep walls. She asked me a lot of questions and in exchange, she told me a lot of story. In the beginning, beginning Jue Ying village was a nameless barren mountain and the rivers had a real temple. Sometimes they flood and other times they were all but wither. And on that mount, barren mountain, she made two friends, a fish and a snake. But later the snake was cut into pieces and the fish sank into the water and then only Bluey was left. Thank you little Mao. Also, um, don't tell anybody, anyone about your, my friend, okay? Of course we won't. You seem quite familiar with this friend of little Mao, Fujin. Indeed, that was all in my past life. Many many years have passed since I could no longer move freely. I suspect that I might not recognize her any longer, though from little Mao's word, she might not have changed a lot. Past life? <laughs> Perhaps it's not the most accurate way to face it. I did not utterly perish, but I did lose my original form and my strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit of veins. This is also why I invited you and Aoi to the cup rest. If you were not there, I would not even have a form to show you. Or a voice which we to speak of you. It is thanks to you that I may be able to slowly regain my previous strength. Coming here and once seeing these scenes with my own eyes, meeting old friends from the past, and more importantly, making new friends. I'm very glad. How did you die? In my memories of that have grown foggy. Foggy. The herb blood and I were both servants of the another god, and it was I that organized the rain jet right, administering the rivers and mountains for our lord. As for the others, she was as she is, a beast, wild and free. In those peaceful days, I climbed waterfall to Mount Aokang and Mount Hulao. And there I, was, I met the Adepti whose powers and wisdom far eclipsed mine. Of course, this was all before the war. Our lord was not heinous guy by all means, but once upon a time, time, she made many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the Archon War itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on my part, I'm sure. We we'll talk about how you and her lord defected. Ha, <laughs> that's right. That might have been the bravest thing we have ever done. Our lord had all but gone mad seeking for the position of the god who may rule this land, the world, or perhaps seeking survival. Either way, she lacked power to overcome Norex. So in a final desperate gamble, she caused the Bishui River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew that would mean for Chinyu Vail and his people. Whoa, but um, Paimon thinks that that's something you should never ever do, period. Perhaps that's what war does to people. Either way, that was our final adventure as our trio of friends. Ling Yuan attacked people f with her familiars, herding them, herding them to the shelter we have prepared. Her blood fought against our mistress while I climbed Mount Limeng and hurled a veto of ranger into the rising water. Of course, that wasn't a proper range jade, right? It was simply to release of the adaptor energy stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its maw and swallow the rivers and allow the jade mouth to grow and stabilize the flow. Whoa, what happened next? <laughs> Didn't little mouth tell you how it all ended? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Wait, really? When? Right, that's enough about the past. We should get to back to performing the right. True, but what about a good cup? Isn't that what we're looking for? In truth, you already found it, as with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. 
It's just that I miss the scenery here a bit too much, so I couldn't help ha but have a long chat with you all. After all, your sense of time and mind are not the same. You won't tarry long once your objective is complete, will you? As such, I apologize. Please forgive my capriciousness. Oh. It disappeared. Though my battle is still far, far cry from how it was in the past, thanks to your aid, I have regained much strength. Thank to you. Thank you. Next, we need to perform the ceremony. What effects will it have? It's been a thousand years since the last performed it, and the mountains, rivers, and the spirit veins have all changed a great deal. But if it all goes so well, the votive ranger will resolve this issue. So then, let's begin. I swear, that's supposed to be audio here. Yo. <laughs> I don't know where it is. What? What happened? Whoa, the fuck dissipated. Holy shit, what was that? Huh, ah, it's just like the mural. Do you remember Baimon? The one with the two golden people? And something in between them? Whoa, you're really impressive. Yeah, Mao, Paimon didn't remember that at all. Behold, the sacred mountain. In my era, to merely climb it, it was already a transgression, transgress, but the ancestral inhabitants of this place are gone, and the commuting path lies waste and broken. Who shall judge us now? That's the, where the spirit of the vein of the Chiu New Veil is covered. Through it, I can transmit my adaptive energy throughout the veil, restoring its water and its soil. We are only one step off from achieving our goal. Are you ready? Let's go. Indeed. Yay! Boop! Wham. Okay. Go. That's a high mountain there, buddy. Uh, hell. Where are you going? Please come with me. Where? Oh. Turn into a fish again. Do you not like it, my mom? Uh-huh. Well, I see some bastard now. No! What the hell? Wow. That was very close. Boom. Okay, wait, wait, fish lady, wait. Let me get the mats. Okay. Either way. There's a lot of uh thingy. 
the way I can interact with them. Oop. Okay. Lady, can you go any faster? Whoop. Oh. Yo. <laughs> That's a shot. Ling Yuan, I perceive it will be you. I do miss you so, but this really might be a bad time. Huh? So, Louis' name is Ling, ya, Ling Yuan? Hmm. Don't be like that. Speak with me. The upon opportunities to speak will come. But it is not now. You know this. I know this, but I cannot allow it. Wait, just a while longer. It will end soon. I do not like the things up there. But it does not matter. Leave it to me, Fujin. Do not come up here. But why do? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, owl people. <gasps> no. <gasps> Whoa. I'm quite sorry for not being completely frank with you earlier. Though I became aware that during our travels, I did not wish to believe that my old friend Ling, Ling Yuan would be the source of the storm that buffets, buffets, buffets to new bill. Whoa, so that's what's going on. I kind of had a feeling. Eh, you did? When? How did you figure it out? She, her blood, and I defended Jinye Vale together to think that she would do something so wicked. Her disruption of the spirit veins have caused the miasma to propagate. And the one who stopped me from performing the right the first time was also her. But Big Sis Fujin, Bluey, I mean Ling Yuan, isn't a bad person. I know Lady Mao, she is your friend, but at the same time, she is the greatest threat to Chunyu Vale. If she controls the sacred mountain, I will wield the power to completely alter the land of. She will wield the power to completely alter the land of Chunyu Vale in a blink of an eye. I fear that Ling Yuan has already entered Ching Wang Terrence before us. She means to rewrite the flow or path of the spirit vein. I have little time left. Aoi, you master the adaptor energy available here in Chunyu Vale. Ling Yuan and her familiars will not be your match. Please accompany me for a time and aid me. For the sake of the people in the Chunyu Vale, I will perform the ritual and open up the way to Ching Wen Terence. Please stay by my side and protect me. Go! I need to heal. Mm -hmm. Chill. What? I wasn't expecting somebody from the side. Look, oh, he's dead. Boom. You won't listen to me. 
Will you not wait? Your strength is feeble. You cannot match me. But do not worry. You will soon recover. Ding Yuan, say no more. Our win and I will stop you. We will stop this plan to destroy two new veil. The witchery is complete. The gate to Qingwen Terrans is now open. The world seems to spin for a moment, and when you open your eyes once more, you're already above the clouds. Oh wow. Are we really though? Oh, Lila in disorder. Uh -huh. Wow, that's a. I can't move any faster than this. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any but oh shit I'm dead cool I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Yeah. Stay down. Bop. <laughs> you calm now, buddy? <laughs> that was so well. <laughs> Human, let me tell you what you should do. Fire arrows at my heart. If you approach up close, strike me with your sword. I will fight you to the last. You are the only one here who can fight. When I have crushed your neck, I will triumph. No! I don't intend to kill you. Why? I do not understand. You already lost your Fujin's friend. Fine. You may ask me one question. You still really care about doing this thing, huh? Even though you lost, huh? Well, then let us exchange questions. Do you have a question, little Mao? Um, Louie, why do you have a fight? Can't we all be friends? Bunch of too late. Too late and you, Fujin. You have not strength of a form of too late of your own. Yet you wish to walk in your form and speak to me. How can humans and wild beasts ever be friends? That's not true, Louie. You're lying. If that's the case, why didn't you let me let those beasts eat me back then? If human and beast can't be friends, and you're a beast, shouldn't, you shouldn't have helped me. My actions are sometimes beyond my own understanding. You were merely fortunate. Well, why didn't you just eat the mountain as well? She almost bumped into you while, she, while lost in the fog at the foot of the mountains I saw. Hmm. You human possess such wisdom that even nature submit to your will. In that case, you tell me why didn't I eat her? Uh, what kind of question is that? Mount Lysin Le is dear to the Aptatus Fujin. Let us assume you are correct. She has told me much about the Ringgit right? Perhaps those memory affected my actions. You actually remembered everything I told you. Every year before the ride, you would tell me that white snake, how expectant you were, and how nervous. And yet, after the ride, you would tell us how the festivity was so fun and lively. I would always speak, and I could not help but listen. Only human forget. I forgot nothing. You have cleared my doubt of mine. How may you you may ask a question? 
Well, Adeptus Fujin, you have a question? Thanks, Howie. Just a while back, Ling Yuan and I was telling them stories about our past. Why do you wish to wreck Chunyu Vale, which we once fought so hard to protect? You planted tea trees, promising you oh, promising that enjoy to yep, enjoy the tea with us. These two I remember, but that sort of tea no longer exists. I want to change this land. I want to make it like it was all those millennia ago. You have walked with human for too long. You have forgotten that you, I, and the snake all came from nature. You know, I was like wondering who is the snake? Is it uh, by Zeus snake? I knew that you never truly perished and you did not part this one, this like the snake. So I wish to change this place to the form it had when you were born. All these years, I have been slowly adjusting the spirit veins. Oh, I get it. So the miasma came from? Correct. Side effects. In the end, the process will change the soil, the waters, and the forest to what they should be. What? The soil, waters, and forest should have been? You truly have forgotten your past. The rivers rose and fell with the rains, and their path was not fixed. The tea trees and the flowers were not trimmed or cultivated, nor did they exist for humanity. In such an environment, you would regain your old form and falling once more in the great rivers. You will regain your strength, spiritual power blackened, blackened the land in those days. The wild shrub grew thick. Now the mountains and the forests are silent, and the shimmering voice of the water, spring water, tickling like jade, can be heard no longer. But you don't understand. You still think you must stop me. Ling Yuan, I, counted, I count myself more blessed than most have lived such a happy life. And in the end, my soul returned to my home. You are the one who doesn't understand. Yes, I have never understood. After you defeated me, you should have taken my territory. You planted tea on my mountain and gave that land to the humans. I do not understand why you did this. Tunyuville was once a nameless land, and we were nameless insects, beasts, and fish. I was the master of the uncultivated mountain, and today that belongs to neither any of us. You took a human form and walked among them. You instituted the rain jade right and helped them change the soil and water. I did not understand then either, but I could see how happy you were. The snake changed into a human form and used her knowledge to create medicine to save the sick. I could understand how the fragile, hu agile human fingers could help her do what she wished, but I do not know why it was done. What happened after caused me still more confusion. You fought alongside humans and their so-called gods, and you perished. Humans fighting each other over territory and survival. Now that I can understand. I both belong to the great river and the mountainous forest. You could not, you could have chosen to leave them and live on with me. Let that which is human belong to them, and nature belong to nature. Even if our territory were to shrink, we still we could still live live freely. But now you wish to stop me, and defend this land you subdued by humanity. Answer me. Why? Ling Yuan, my friend, it's as you say. I do wish to protect them. Do not answer me with my own question. I'm asking you why. Ling Yuan must, might be a beast, but she sure cares about the order of things, huh? I know. That's how I learned so much of her. So, you guys were just discussing stuff in the mountains? No, not totally. That's it. After hearing everything Bluey said about Big Sis Fujin, I thought they'll be happy to meet each other. At first, I was like you. I did not understand humanity. I did not enjoy their excessive demand of 
and love of hoarding, and their eternal desire to have more than they need, while caring so little for the needy themselves. Trading, wealth, like you, I do not understand this concept and do not understand why they influence human joy and sorrow. But across the long years, I also have seen many other things. The cries of children back my back, and the sound of the old person's shattered memory saddened me, just as it just as it though it were all a microcosm of those mountains and rivers. Have you noticed them? Seen them? The children who wash their little feet in the stream, fishermen laughing beneath the light of the rainbow arc, and the moonlight thirst for lovebirds, their figures painted silver. Humans too are creatures of this land, just how different is their innocence from us? You mean to say, you, that you have chosen to take their side due their emotion, not through natif- natural f- principle and logic, and not due to anyone's orders? I suspect that her blood had much of the same reason as I. That said, I'm sure she put it all dif- very differently. Huh. I remain unsatisfied with your answer, Fujin. I do not understand. Do you not? I think you understand for a long time when our Lord, when our previous God raised the water, it was you who brought out your family, familiars around to attack the people and drive them to the shelters we had created. I just, I just wish to help my friend to make their wish reality. Even if doing so means going against nature and the principle you follow? Even if it means going against nature and the principle I follow, I would do so anyway. Well, then we aren't all that different now, are we? Didn't you choose your own position on account of your feelings? Hmm. I am satisfied with your answer, Fujin. Now, you may ask a question. Well, I may I ask the next question, are we? Uh, sure. Uh, Paimon can't really think of anything good right now. So, you got this one. Go ahead. You acknowledge my answer. Acknowledge me. And acknowledge that you made choices based on your feelings. Now, let me ask you. No, don't you. Why, you know what I'm going to ask you, right? If I needed your help, you will still make the same choice. That's right. And what's your answer? <sighs> yes, I would. Even should another thousand years pass, and even if you ask me a thousand more times, my answer will be the same. In that case, Ling Yuan, I do in fact need your help. I truly wish to save the people of the Chunyu Vale. So please, stop fighting. Don't stop me from nursing the water and the soil, alright? I promise you, Fujin, you have walked with humans much time, and I have learned their cunning. While I am foolish beast, my claws and teeth are sharp, but I am no match for you. Thank you. Thank you, Aoi, Paimon, and Lady Mao. You have accompanied me for so long, and you have helped me a lot. I wouldn't have made it without you. I'm so happy to help you, big sis. I'm so glad that Bluey got to meet you all, too. I was worried when I you when you fought. You have also my thanks, Aoi. Little Mao, it was you who brought Fujin to me, though the circumstances of the meeting were not what I hoped for. Hey, what about Paimon? Hmm? <laughs> Alright then, let's begin. What well, is gonna happen? Huh? Oh. 
Whoa. Big sis Fujin? Big sis? Well, where'd she go? Do you still not understand? She used all the energy she accumulated recently to nurse the land. Wait, if that's the case, does that mean? Yes, it is as you suspect. But she struggles so hard to. Though we have now finished nursing the soil and the water, the miasma that remains will not disappear immediately. So you have to be careful out there. Eh? Sorry for making you all see me like that. This is just as Ling, Ling Yuan said. I have completely used my, my use up the energy I accumulated recently. I can no longer maintain my favorite form. Paimon thought Paimon thought that What's wrong? <gasps> nothing, nothing. Paimon is glad you're still here, Adaptus Fujin. Seriously, Ying Wen. What about me? She wasn't entirely wrong, Paimon. As long as you're still here, Adaptus Fujin. Though my form is as it has become, I'm far more comfortable than before. At first, I was trapped at a cut rest. I could only reminisce about the outside world to the scent of the tea offering. If you have not met you and Paimon, people of such compatibility with spirit veins, I would have had none of my but my shadow to talk to, much less be able to leave cup rest. Thank you for your concern. Please, let, please forgive me. I must depart now. I need a bit rest. And another thing, Ling Wen. Speak. What else do you have me do or not do? Nothing. I just didn't get to say this due to the circumstance that prevailed before. But it's so good to see you again. I know. Yay, yippee, we're done. Are we? Thank you all. Eh, where did that come from? I should thank you for bringing her back safe, smooth, and slippery. That's <laughs> even a way. In which her fins move is the same as I remember. We sure have a um, strange way of remembering people or fish, whichever. I do not know how you do it, nor why you were able to obtain her adaptive energy. All these thousands of years, I never once heard her voice. It might be due to um, Aoi's unique constitution? Huh. However, I am but a foolish beast, even if I wanted to see her again. I would not I would not know of the better way. I could only spend thousands of years clumsily imitating her methods, regulating the spirit veins in this land. You are quite stupid, and I only knew this method, and so I did it. It was akin to scooping every droplet from a rushing river or every grain of sand in a vast desert. I knew as well as she would not smile as she once did. Even if these mountains return to how they once were, she, I, and the snake once laughed and swam happily together here. Those days will never come again. She loved humanity too much, even more than she loved herself. Had I succeeded, she would only hate me. But that would not have never mattered to me, so long as she could regain her form and swim once more. <sighs> and Paimon thought you were more concerned about nature. <laughs> of course I care. A land untamed by humans, a land of real wild beasts and that is different subject from the matter of Fujin. If she think that a land tamed by humans is better, then what that and that the strange tea leaf grown as such land tastes superior that I shall do what pleases her. So thank you. You're welcome. Speaking of that, Pamela's curious. What did the tea leaf taste like in the past? 
When the land changed before, the tea leaf flavor was much closer to what it was in the past, apart from some difference due to human influence. Wait, so you mean that weirdly favored tea snack we had were? In that case, I prefer the current flavor. <laughs> tea leaf cultivated by humanity will be more of their liking, of course. What I do not understand is Fujin's taste. If the snake were here, we could have asked for her opinion, but perhaps her tastes have also become strange for spending so much time with humans. Before you go, Aoi, I have a final question for you. Those that come from nature will for some reason go against nature, against the law of nature's nature originally followed. Will humans go against humanity? Against the principle they follow, for a certain reason. Yes. Thank you. I received the answer I desired. Well then, little Mao, Aoi, and Paimon, we shall meet again. Alright, then, see you later, Bluey. Also, remember to take care of Big Sis Fujin. She seems kind of weak right now, so we, you should take care of her. I will. Farewell. Wait. I have a question for you. Ask then. I do owe you that. If human activities are the part of the laws of nature, how will you view humanity? A strange question in a distant past. They were indeed part of nature, but they are so no longer. That is because. Hmm. No, I need to give this question more thought. Next time, I will give you my answers. We're back! We were just saying about... Oh, you're back! We, we were just saying that good info bound to bring good thing, tidings. And what do you know? Dear guest, you arrived right on time. How? How do you go? Well, I trust. Tell us all about it. <laughs> it was thanks to Adaptus Fujin. We have, were able to clear the source of the anomalies. So you met a legendary cop? Adaptus? Oh my, as one would expect a young miss of Fuyun common skill. You really do have fans in high places. Well, it was a piece of cake to me. Oh, I didn't read that. Haha, <laughs> Liu, oh Liu, Liu, just what did I say? I told you, you, I told you it was a problem with the soil, but you wouldn't listen. If it wasn't for the help, we'll still be tealers to come next year's um well Lantern White has passed, buddy. Or oh, it's still going on, I guess. In the timeline of my recording. <laughs> Cough. That uh regardless, thank you for the both of your help, honored guests. With your help and the protection of the cup adapters, I'm sure your our village will surely see great harvest of tea leaves this coming year. Ah, yes, please take this. Take it as a token of our thanks. Right, Paimon almost forgot. We, we came across this kid during this, our adventure. Is he from the village too? <gasps> Uncle Yu! I'm back! Well, if it isn't you, little Mao. Finally, of a mind to come back, huh? Eh, you don't seem moved at all. What is that a fed about? This kid run around in the mountain all the time. And he always come back safe after getting tired. If you ask me, there's been an adapter looking after him in secret all along. You know, maybe that might be even be the cop adapters. I said it before, it wasn't an adapters, it was Bluey. Alright, alright, little Mao. Don't argue with Leo here. He's just pretending to know what he's talking about. Come to my place later. I'll make you some egg tarts. Woo! Egg custard. <laughs> And now you pretend to be a good person. Wait, what do you mean pretending to know? In any case, I don't know. I don't really know how you repay you, I guess. If you should need any help in the future, the village will be there to lend you your hand. A hey, completed. A hey, we did it, boys. Yippee! Yippee! Dippy dippy do, man. We yay okay. I'm wondering how Fujin coming along in her recovery. Uh, 
the Tavins wish she was gone. Yep. Paimon, you suck at dialogue, man. Oh. Hi. Aoi and Paimon, you're here. Uh, Ling, Ling Yuan, why are you over here? Because I can't get it. Can't get in? Oh, can't get in. Uh, where can't you get into? The cup's vest. Where's Fujin's vest thing? Cup vest? Oh, you mean the place Fujin dragged us off the way back there, man? It is an abode sealed by her adapter energy. I do not have her adapter energy, thus I cannot go to her. Ah, but you didn't mention anything before she went back to the vest. It escaped my mind. You need help? An adapter energy you possess is sufficient to open the gate to Cup's West, so yes, I need your help. Uh huh, wait a second, so you've been waiting here for us the whole time? I was not waiting for you, I was looking away into Cup's West. That seems like pretty much the same thing to um... Anyway, we're a bit worried about Fujin's condition, so why don't we get to see her together? Fine, thank you, both. Follow me. Uh, I still have yet to get 100%. Oh my god. Or am I supposed am I supposed yeah. Bop. Mm. Yeah, anything down here? Boom! Oh, it big! Nice! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Huh? Are we? Paimon? And Ling Yuan? What did you all come here? Whoa! That Fuzin's voice, and that coming from below? Uh, we were worried about you. Yeah, we were all worried about your health. So we just came here to without giving you a heads up. You did the same thing to us first, so Paimon thinks it's square now. Ah, sorry. When I returned to the rest, I think I forgot to unlock the entrance. I am so sorry. You came here to see me, but I made things harder for you instead. Oh, it wasn't much of a hassle, but why are you hiding in a puddle? Um, how should I put it? Because I can't return to the form I prefer yet. And with you guys always seeing me in my card form, I can't help to feel a bit embarrassed. You are aware that we've seen you many, many times already, right? So there's no need to hide yourself, is there? Huh, but before I could turn back into a human form whenever I wanted, so I thought moving around as a cup was just a matter of convenience, but now all I have is a slick a slippery self, so I find it a bit Oh that's a bit strange thing to be so insistent about. But anyway, all that matters is that you're okay. But Ling Yuan said that your abdato energy wasn't consumed, so it was just dispersed around the mountains, forests, and rivers of Junior Vale, and that's why you have been, been so weakened so much. So if we were to collect the scattered adapto energy, just like when we, we finish with finding the golden cup in the valley, then you get better, right? Well, that's a theory. <gasps> uh Alright, right, right. so if you see a similar card, we should be able to bring them back here. That way, you will recover much faster. That will be far too much trouble for you. My power is not yet that feeble. If I simply rest here for some time, it will be enough. Ah, don't worry about it. I got all 50 of them. <laughs> That's not the dialogue. <laughs> well, thank you, however. I really don't want to trouble you anymore on my behalf. You have done so much already. 
If you do do happen to find some adaptor energy during your travels, please transfer it into the jade here. To balance has been restored in the water and soil. We can add more power to the rain jade. We can ensure it the ensure favorable weather and prosper this year to come. And what about you? Really now? I already told you, all I need is rest a bit. Aoi, Paimon, I'm really grateful and quite happy that you come to visit me. This is the first time anyone came here since Herblot her left. I thank you as well, Ling Yuan. I have done nothing worthy of your thanks. Alright, enough of that. Then just think of it as me thanking you for bringing Aoi and Paimon here, really now. And lastly, let me say thank you once more, Aoi, Paimon. You for all of you done. Well, if you ask me, um, mm hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I thought it was like the finale. Is this probably the finale like scene? <laughs> wow, what do you know? We call it so much adaptive energy already. Well, that me, no more than to be expected of one such as the young lady. Hey, that's a bit long over, isn't it? Quit talking like that. Anyway, according to what Fujin said, this adapter energy should be used on the votive range. That way, the village can reap the result next year. When that happens, Paimon will have Uncle Liu prepare all kinds of amazing food for her. Mm, let Paimon think. Mm, like tea cakes, squab, base meatball, honey chai su, sui, sui, su. Oh my god, and, and tea food perhaps? Oh, right. And two new boo. Of course, Paimon gotta write the all of that down. Wait a minute, who's that? <gasps> Fujin? Eh, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't scare you, did I? You can assume human form again. Yes, did one not say that one was not seriously injured and needed merely a vivus of rest to return to my favorite form? Thank you for both. Thank you both for gathering all that energy for the ranger I rested. Next year's bountiful harvest will, will in no small way be thanks of your effort. Hehe, <laughs> tis but a piffling trifle for one such as I, the young lady. Though now, though now you're back in your human form, I do not need to lock yourself in the super dark place anymore. What do you plan to do next? Um, I haven't caught of much of it yet. Perhaps I should walk around and have a look. Have a test of today's tea. Listen to today's opera. See the people of today. Mm, I am sorry. I keep emphasizing today. I still am some sort of horrid antique. Antiquate? Though I really do like that word. The things I couldn't do in the past, I can do today. And the things that couldn't be achieved before, all those promises that couldn't be kept, they can be all made today. And then I would like to go to Greeley Assembly and have a look. And then Li Wei Harbor to see the people there. Meet all the lovely folks that you described. And of course I'd like to see the herb lord again. Want me to bring him around? Yeah, Paimon remembers you say that not leaving clear waters for too long and needing some sort of a dead though ram of teapot. Huh, thank you for remembering that. And thank you for being willing to help me. However, I would like to stay in Tunyu Vale a bit longer and enjoy the sight and sound of my home. As for long distance travel, hmm, let me think. Maybe I should wait for a little Mao is go gone. That's way too long. I'm joking. Anyway, I do plan to stay here for a bit and see if I can convince Ling Yuan to go out on a trip with me. Alright, I'll wait. One more thing before you go. You went through quite a lot on account of both of us, as well as Ling Yuan's. My adaptor energy is slowly recovering, so please, allow me to give you a genuine blessing of protection for the world ahead. Pluck your besties and toast me. 
What? As the dew hangs on the sled sedge and smoke swirls amidst the leaves, the times wear on, yet the years grow peaceful. Such thoughts I nurse in my heart and vow to never forget. On our times together, I ponder to comfort and happiness. On my zither, I play till you shall return. That should do. All set now. Um, thanks. Well then, once again, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me and for Chunyuville. Wow. Oh my god. Um, I got this thing. Hot oh, damn. Bob. There's no claim all, is there? Nope. Ooh, a weapon billet. Cool. I I love that actually. Okay, are we fifth hundred percent yet? Are we? <laughs> okay, hundred <laughs> percent. Searching a missing piece, crispy. Bab bab. I wonder what happens, to be honest with you. Cool. That... That... That's it? That... Huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh, we're here. Wait, what? The mirror veil? The what? I'm so confused. Oh, hi. Um, wait, what? Huh. Wait, it's the nail. Isn't it? The nail destroyed something and the people left to the veil? Is, is that what you're saying? Where are we? I don't even know. Where is this? It's very deep. Oh wow. We are here. Interesting. Cool. And as for the achievement. Oh my god. What the hell? Witness four murals. Witness the completion of the rain jade. Return to the west. Okay. I should have completed everything. Yep. Boop. And then boop. And then boop. And then boop. Nice. Well. That's it for the world quest. I need to finish by you. The snake. Story. Well, let's see you. Hmm? Oh, next time. Bye. <laughs>